Toya, you asked me last night, uh, do you know the boy you are marrying today? And I lied when I answered you. <laughs> the reality is that I know him very well, Zoya. <laughs> Not too long ago. <laughs> he came and assaulted me. <laughs> Do you see this, Shireen? What your darling son did to our family. He ruined Humeira's whole life by doing this, Shireen. Shireen, if people find out, I don't think... I don't think I'll have any options other than hanging myself out of shame for this humiliation. Rosia. What do you mean? You want us to sleep like this time together? Sorry, I refuse to do that. Remember I told you that I have many years of training in martial arts? I learned from watching movies. And how did I learn to drive? By playing video games. I'm not afraid of any situation. I can face the enemy. How can you suddenly decide that you want Humeira and I to get married? I mean, marriage is no child's play. It is not a joke, uncle. A mockery has been made of our families on Ayan. And it's your fault. That's why I'm talking about arranging your marriage. If someone else had done that to us, then I would have already beheaded them, Ayan. Zoya? Zoya? Zoya, please. Zoya? Today, with my consent and permission, you and Humeira will be getting engaged. What's wrong, Asad? Since you came back from Mangapur, you... you've been acting strange. What happened in Mangapur? Why are you asking? Everything makes sense. Once a liar, always a liar. Because now we don't have to force our dear children into a stale and loveless marriage. Is this a joke? Are you being serious? You're the only joke here. Here's the truth for you. The engagement is over. We are only interested in Mariam. Please believe me. I don't know where your daughter is. I have complete trust in you. But the woman who came from overseas, the one living in your house, I don't trust. She's not here anymore. You've always wanted to get married. To Ayan, haven't you? I don't want to. Marry Ayan. All I want is to live a peaceful life. With my wife and my children, that is all. And actually managing to obtain that thing at the end of the day. A man writes his own destiny and you wrote yours with your own two hands, Rashid. Now if you really choose to leave this house, you will not live a peaceful life. Instead, you'll get a life behind bars. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with you? If the Empress sees your scarf, you'll know, and you'll kill both of us. You don't know his level of anger. <gasps> oh no. <sighs> you shouldn't have broken the promise you made to your mother. Remember, even you promised me, Asad, that no one will come between you and I. For you, I can break any promise in the world, Asad. But are you willing to break your mother's promise as well? 